Hey there, pre-K. We're gonna start working on our turkeys together. And you're gonna need a piece of paper, and if you have a black crown or a dark colored crown would work really well to start drawing the outline of our turkey together. So you can follow along and try to do the same shapes that I'm creating, uh, or you can get an idea of what mine looks like and obviously make it your very own turkey. So we're gonna start with a circular shape uh, so to make a shape, if you remember, a shape is when a line uh, goes all the way around and connects and to create a shape. So if I start drawing a curved line to make a circle, but I stop, it's still a line. But if I continue and it comes all the way back around and it connects, it becomes a shape. This is going to be the head of my turkey. And then underneath the head, uh, I'm gonna draw the body. So I'm gonna use kind of another curved circular shape, maybe a little more oval shaped, but I'm gonna start it right here off the bottom of my circle, and I'm gonna come down and curve my body around and back up to the circle so it touches. So it looks like the head is connected to the body. And then I want I want my turkey to have some wings, so I'm gonna draw some little wings on the side of my turkey right? And then, oh, we have to have a face, right? Otherwise, it doesn't even look like anything. So we got to have turkey eyes, and you can draw your turkey eyes however you want. And then we're going to draw a little upside down triangle shape for our turkey beak. And then I'm going to give my turkey a feather necklace, and I'm going to use a zigzag line to draw a little feather necklace around his neck. All right. Now we're gonna add um, some feathers. So turkey feathers grow out of the back side of our turkey. So we're going to start by uh, using lines that come to a point and then come back to our turkey and touch the turkey. So it looks like it's growing from behind our turkey. And that's one. So I'm gonna add some more going all the way around. Some feathers could be longer, some could be skinnier but it starts up, goes to a point, and comes back down to touch our turkey. And then I'm gonna do a third feather. I want this one to be a little taller. And it's gonna come down, but don't draw over the face of your turkey. Make sure you stop as you get to the head or the body of your turkey so it looks like it's going behind. I now have three feathers. I want one to go over the back of my turkey too, so I'm gonna start at the top of the head, draw it going up, coming back down. So it looks like it goes behind the head of my turkey. So now I have four feathers. I'm gonna add a fifth feather. And over here, I'm gonna add a small sixth feather because I don't have much room for many more. So if your feathers, uh, if you have room for more, you could add a few more as long as they're going all the way around your turkey. Now our turkey needs something to stand on. He's not a weeble wobble turkey. So we're gonna give our turkey two little turkey legs, two little lines going straight down off the body. And then I'm gonna draw an upside down V, just like that. And then a little line in the middle and those will be the toes of our turkey. And now that we have the body and the feathers drawn of our turkey, go ahead and grab some other colors of crayons to use, and we're gonna do some patterns. And patterns are things that repeat. Um, so if I start over here on this feather, and I draw a stripe, and I want it to repeat, I could alternate colors, kind of this pink color, with green and so I'm creating a pattern by going back and forth between the pink crown and the green crown so I want you to add patterns on all of your feathers and so I'm gonna pick another color because I like to use lots of different colors with the different patterns that I'm gonna create I'm gonna do a polka dotted pattern on this feather you could do polka dots on another feather you don't have to do polka dots at all. But I'm gonna draw me some yellow polka dots and they repeat. So that makes it a pattern, okay? And then on my next feather, I'm gonna pick another color. Uh, I like to switch my colors. I'm gonna do a zigzag pattern. Now I could alternate colors like I did over here with the stripes, 
But for this one, I think I'm just going to do some orange zigzags. And I'm done with that feather. What about a new color? And we haven't done any wavy lines. So maybe I'm going to do wavy lines. I think Mrs. Ryan is feeling like a lot of lines today. Some are straight, some are zigzag, some are wavy. But when you repeat them, they become patterns. Now I could also go in between each one of these and color them a different color if I wanted to. So maybe I wanna add a little green here. Maybe I wanna add this yellowy orange color here. And then I wanna repeat it. I wanna do the green again here. And then the orange here. And I like the purple in between. I think it really makes those colors pop. I'm gonna bring in some blue. I haven't used any blue in my patterns or on my turkey yet. So these are obviously very colorful turkeys. They're not gonna be traditional browns, oranges, yellows, and reds. Um, I think I'm feeling like I wanna do a checkerboard. So to do a checkerboard, I'm gonna stripe my feathers first, just like I did over here on the first feather. And then I'm gonna draw some lines going the other direction to crisscross over. And it kind of looks like a corn on the cob, doesn't it? I could even color in some of my squares to be what we would call a checkerboard. But you can come up with whatever patterns you can think of. Use your creative and imagination um, to come up with uh, your own patterns. So I have one more feather here that I'm gonna add some patterns to. I'm gonna grab another color. Ooh, let's go with this dark fuchsia color. And hmm, I've done a lot of stripes, a lot of lines. I've done some polka dots. What about, I'm thinking, hmm, this could be interesting. I don't know, I just feel like trying this. You don't have to do this, but I feel like drawing another line and I want it to bend and follow the shape of my feather and then turn and then come inside that line and turn. And I created what almost looks like kind of like a spiral, but it follows the shape of my feather and that's my pattern for that feather but you don't have to do a spiral those could be a little tricky but you're welcome to try it now i'm going to add some patterns to the body of my bird my bird my um turkey needs some pattern so i'm going to add kind of these wavy lines that remind me of like feathers on the body of my turkey bird here and i'm going to do that all the way across the body of my turkey bird. So fill in the body with some feather, or with some uh, pattern as well. And then this is kind of a yellowy orange color. I'm gonna, since I have a lot of yellow over here and some orange up here, I'm gonna put this over here on this side and I'm gonna add some more patterns. How about some, just some feather lines to make it look like that's his wing. And then how about, hmm, let's go with another purpley color because we only have a little bit of purple up here so I like to try to use colors I haven't used a lot and I'm going to add some more of those pattern lines for the the wings of my turkey bird okay now oh one more thing I think I want to color the beak orange right but I left the head white I left the background of all of my feathers white and um I left the body in between the pattern white so let's see what we can do to add some extra color to our turkey. If you have watercolor at home, uh, or maybe um, you're at school and your teacher has some watercolor, uh, we're gonna add a little watercolor to our turkey bird. If you don't have any watercolor, it's okay. You can leave it just like this, and you could, oh, you could even add a little bit of grass at the bottom so that the turkey bird um, has something to stand on so it doesn't look like it's uh, floating in the air because I don't ever see, I've never seen a floating turkey. So um, make sure you add lots of pattern to your turkey bird. And if you have watercolor, I'm gonna show you in just a minute how to add watercolor over top of your patterns. All right, guys, I'll see you in a minute.